so in order to tag the floors, I'm going to go with uh, tag by category. If I hover the mouse around here, now it's mass. If I hit tab, now it says mass floor. I'm going to click here. It says there is no tag loaded for mass floor. I'm going to bring a tag, yes. Annotations. So under annotations, we have mass floor tag. This one, open. And I'm going to hit tab again and tag the mass floor. Okay, that's good. That's exactly what I wanted. And now we can change the scale. I'm thinking 1 to 500 or even smaller, 1 to 1000, because this is just to show at the moment what is uh, the area of each space. So let me make this a bit nicer here. Uh, I can right click on this and say right click hide in view category so it doesn't show that. So uh, I'm going to go with edit family. Here it says usage and then the floor area. So for now I'm going to erase this usage, load this into project and override the tag. So we just see uh, the area here. Okay, same for level 2. Let's go with the crop region, show the crop region and crop. Can change this to hidden line. Uh, or shaded. And uh, let's go with the same. 1 to 1000. This is just conceptual, so that's okay. Hide in view category. Then we can go with uh, annotate, tag by category, hover the mouse around here, hit tab, and one click here. Okay, uh, feel free to close this tag, mass floor tag, but I don't want to save it. In my level 6, I actually don't have any floor, so I need to go back, mass floor. I should say in level 6, don't make any floors because uh, we cannot really include it. On my level 5, show the crop region, crop the view around here. I'll go with 1 to 1000 shaded. I'm going to hide this, hide in view, category, annotate, tag by category, hit tab here. See, when I hit tab, there is no floor to select here, but if I hit tab on this other end, uh, we have some floor on this other end. See, in the mass floor schedule, level 1 and 2 are the same. 3, 4, and 5 are different, so uh, we can also take care of level 3. Uh, let's crop it again, go with the... Let me show you a trick here. We want this view to have the same settings as the other set, the other views, right? So I'm going to go to my level 1. Uh, I have adjusted everything. I'm going to go with my view. Under view templates, I'm going to say create template from current view and let's name it floor plans. Okay, floor plans, I'll, I'm going to set this. Then in my level 3, I'm going to go with, with view template, apply template to current view, which one? The floor plan template, hit OK. It will change all this, the scale, uh, the hidden line or something. Same with level 4, I'll go here, I'm going to say apply a template to current view, which one? The floor plan template. Now the only part that I need to take care of is adjusting the crop region. The scale, the level of details, uh, even the fact that the elevations are hidden is all applied to the view. Uh, I'm going to go with annotate, a tag by category, hover the mouse around here, hit tab once. So this is the area of this one, and on level 3, annotate, hit tab once, 
this is the area in this level. Now let's create one sheet. I'm gonna go with a new sheet. And let's go with the tidal blocks. Uh, for the sheet, how about I go with actually English Imperial tidal blocks and I'm gonna go with a D size and for this practice. Uh, let's say open, OK. Now in the sheet, feel free to fill that information over there. I want to have my level, so level 1. Uh, maybe in the level I can hide the crop region and I can move this here and take care of this. Uh, the reference planes would not show when you print the file so I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, let's keep going. Put your level 2. Uh, same here. I can double click, hide the crop region, go back and I can move this over there and click here adjust it go is uh, nice and clear so so it's exactly the same length when you adjust this line here level 3 I'm gonna hide the crop region move this a bit up level 4 and level 5 so so I want to also do one more thing in each level I'm gonna click on the mass and I want to actually hide the mass so we only see the floor uh, also in this one, I want to click on the mass, hide in view element. This would help us see how uh, it gets smaller on each level. So also here, hide in view element. Because here we just need to see how big is the floor area. Okay, so we have all our five items uh, with the dimension of the floor area. Let's bring other information here such as our schedule mass floor schedule let's keep it here let's get one view from the project and bring it to the sheet in this view I'm gonna hide the point cloud we don't need it anymore so I'm gonna select the point cloud right click hide in view element and uh, I want to change my my frame here so we show that it's actually all nice and sunny uh, in this view I'll also want to select one of the levels hide in view category uh, let's see what happens if I change this view to perspective it is it's just slightly different so sometimes you can switch between orthographic and perspective that's some other things uh, some other settings which is available. Now let's say I just want to focus on this area and I want the view to be locked. I'm gonna just lock the view at uh, this angle so I'll go with lock. Save orientation and lock the view. I'm gonna name it parking mass. Now it's not going to rotate around. Uh, I also want to go with show crop region and I'm going to just limit my view here and I can go with crop um, and feel free to go with shaded. If you think it's too dark, there is a way to fix it here. I can go with graphic display option under lighting. I want to make this much lighter. 
uh, if it still is not good we can go back to hidden light so on my sheet I wanna bring my 3d view which is the parking mass view and I'm gonna set it somewhere here uh, now you see it's too big I can go to the view go with 1 to 500 maybe go back here uh, usually for the view for the 3d we don't really need to see any name here so I'm gonna click here edit type duplicate the view port and in the duplicated one I wanna say uh, show the title no we don't need it apply and OK uh, I can go here uh, let's see our sections section 1 is good but I think section 2 gives us more uh, information so in section 2 I want to maybe go with 1 to 200 I can move this part a bit down uh, I can limit my region to this area don't need to see anything further and it's good to provide some dimensions on this other side as well here when this happens that your views uh, your levels are are overlapping you can click here click on this add elbow move this down that's a little bit better uh, then I can go to my view also bring my section 2 here I'm gonna move this a bit inside and limit this here uh, if you need to see the section here but you don't see it go back to a different skill so I'm gonna click on one of the sections here and where it says Hi, that is skills coarser than I'm gonna change this to 1 2000 so it wouldn't hide my section same for this one uh, I don't want them to be hidden 1 to 2000 apply then I'll go back to 1 2000 and you see the sections would would not be um, hidden that's it for this video thank you so much please like and subscribe for more videos